website. Hey, we're going to talk about the percent or percentile, quartiles, ranking, and uh, percent rank. Now, we already talked about uh, these topics, but here we're going to get into a little bit more detail. I have notes here. And uh, calculating percentile can be done various ways. Um, there are some different by hand methods and some different uh, formula methods. We're going to use the percentile function, which we uh, looked at a little bit earlier. Now, in the homework, when you do the homework, I have uh, solutions that I have prepared. If I can find which, there it is right there. Uh, this is example of problem three. So I show you a solution for how to do it, uh, the Excel method, and then how to do it uh, with calculating the index for I for index uh, by hand method. And you can see that 20th percentile, we get a 20 using the by hand method in this problem, and 22. Hey, a lot of statistics are estimations. There are best estimates, and there's multiple ways to do this, especially for large data sets. Uh, they all kind of converge together. But uh, we're, in general, uh, going to uh, use the percentile function. Here's some salaries. Looks like we only have 12 here. Now, before we can calculate a percentile, we need to count them. And let's just say we want to find the uh, 85th percentile. Remember, percentile gives us a value that's like a marking point that says 85% of, percent of the values are equal to or less than, and 15% are equal or greater than or above. So I'm going to type 0.85 because the percentile function needs a decimal, not 85. I'm going to count. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. Count. Oh, what happened there? A fence went up. Ah, no, that just means the column isn't wide enough. Equals count. Remember, what does count do? It counts numbers. I'm going to click in that top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then Shift Enter. Puts the formula in the cell and jumps your cursor up. All right, so what is the marking point for us that says 85% of the values below equals percentile? The array is here, Control Shift Down Arrow, Shift Enter. Oh, um, silly me, that won't work. Oh, we have the array and we need the K. Now, in order to get to the K, I have to look at my screen tab and it's saying, hey, put a comma. So I put a comma and you can see the K is bold now and say it's waiting for the K. Remember, this has to be in decimal. Close parentheses. So there it is, our m marking point for this particular data set. Approximately 85% of the salaries lie below 3,670 and approximately 15% lie above. Yes, we use the word approximately. That's probably the best because these are approximations. There are various methods and they're all slightly different. Now, let's look at the same data set, but we want to compare quartiles and percentiles. Now, really, as I mentioned in uh, to two, video go, two videos ago, might as well just use percentile because it'll give you the same thing for quartile, but percentile will uh, give you more flexibility. I'm going to start with the uh, percentile here. Now, 0.25 means the first quartile. That's the marking point. 25% of the values are below, 75% above. Ah. The second quartile, I mean, it's the same as the median, right? 50% above, 50% below. And finally, the third quartile means 75% uh, below and 25% above. I'm going to start off with percentile equals percentile. And the array, I'm going to have to go get this array right here. And I'm actually going to hit the F4 key to lock these cell references because we're going to copy this function down. Comma, and the percentile needs a decimal. But guess what? If you put a 0 into percentile, it gives you the minimum. If you put a 1 into percentile, it'll give you the max. So I just want to show you here that the, uh, the range of numbers for percentile 0 to 1. Close parentheses, uh, and then Control-Enter. 
I'm going to double click and send it down. Double click and send it down. Same as copy. And I come to the end, verify. OK, it's locked. It's got the one. If you don't believe the maxim, you always want to prove to yourself equals max. Uh, whoops. Equal name means that it doesn't know what word you just put into a formula and it's not a built in function. I'm going to highlight all those values just to prove to myself. And then how about uh, tab? And sure enough, it gets it right. You could do the same thing for the min. Now, let's do quartiles. The only difference is you have to put 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Our goal is usually to get uh, three values that mark the points in the data set that divide it into four parts. I'm actually going to highlight the whole range. We know that we can highlight the range if the same formula is going into all the cells. And type equals quartile. It needs the array and the quart. I'm going to hit F4. And then comma, and the court just means this value here. Remember, 0 is for min. The 1, 2, and 3 are the ones we're interested in. I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter to populate all those cells with our formula. Now, what in the world does the quartiles and the uh, percentiles mean? For us, these values we just uh, calculate here, 25% of the values lie below this, 75% above. Okay, So we get the idea here. Again, this is very good when you have a um, a data set, say for CPA exam or entrance exams to anywhere, they you hear people say, we you have to get a 90 percentile or above. Now, Excel, if you want, and this is in the textbook too, you can look here. This is exactly how uh, our Excel calculates it. And actually, it can do some iteration sometimes if there's trying to find values in between. But there's an example of how to do it. Uh, how Excel calculates it. You don't really need to look at that unless you're interested. And here's how to calculate it by hand. They give a great example, a couple, a bunch of great examples in the textbook of how to do it by hand. Again, these are all estimates, so uh, our method of the percentile function will work just fine. Now let's come down here and look at just the, the most practical example. You're trying to get, uh, here's a, a a really excellent uh, accounting job for the county. And there was 150 people that took a test. And to get into the interview, you had to get in the top 90th, uh, the, uh, only the 90th percentile and above made it into the interview. You had to take this this like entrance exam. Your score is 87. You're thinking, oh, man, I didn't make it. I didn't get 90%. Ah, but that's not it. We have to ask amongst all of these values. We're going to give it 0.9, which is the 90th percentile. And the percentile function will spit out a number that says that is the hurdle, the hurdle to be accepted. And hopefully, when we calculate our percentile, our value will be above the hurdle. So you ready? Equals percentile. We're going to get our values, Control shift down arrow. Uh, I'm going to hit F4 here. We don't really need those cell references locked, but that's just a quick way to uh, jump the screen back in view. Comma, and then our K for percentile, we know it has to be a decimal. Close parenthesis. All right, drum roll. And then you hit Enter. Oh, cool. So the hurdle to get uh, past the testing period into an interview was 86. Did you make it? Yes, you're above that. So you're above the 90th percentile. Uh, one last thing for uh, percentile, quartiles, etc. I want to talk about percentile rank and rank. Let's come over here to this sheet. PM